Hello, ESS Igniter. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Vidheo WordPress theme. And basically, this theme is for um, publishing videos and um, it's basically a video blogging theme. So um, I'm going to show you how to upload it first and then I'm going to um, basically show you the, um, the whole theme itself. Um, so when you're going to upload it, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to uh, Periods and then you're going to click on Themes right there. Now you want to make sure that your theme or your download is somewhere where you can easily upload it. So make sure if you have a Mac or Windows PC that you can find it on your desktop or download folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on Install Themes and then press Upload. And you're going to choose File. And wherever you put that file at, you're going to go to that specific spot. See my theme is right here, so and then you would press open. And then that's gonna automatically take you over to CSS Igniter Settings. And this is the options panel. And um, it has various options from site settings. So you know to buy and sell ads, that is something you have to sign up for, so they can connect the API and stuff like that. But um, So yeah, it's going to show you, um, you can change your video text. For this one, we named it the name of the theme. And our slogan is video to go. Um, if you don't want to use the text and you have your own logo made it ready, you can just upload it here. You can choose your, your uh, color scheme. I chose default. You can choose any of these you want. Upload your own favicon. You know, the icon that's around in this section right here. Now, the best way to get around this theme, if you don't know how to place the widgets right and you're just dealing with it all day, um, what I tell people who are new to WordPress is, you know, create um, sample content. And what that does is it puts everything in where it needs to be. And you can just edit that sample content and then and then you know make it your own post um, so we're going to go to home page options um, this right here um, is what is what you would do to set how many video posts you do you know normal posts is three video posts is four you can always change this number to eight or something but you know this is what makes your your um, video WordPress theme longer so I'm just going to keep that the same. You can choose to enable auto slide or disable it. Enable synchronized sliding or or disable it. It's up to you. Um, I like the phase zoom. There's so many other um, transitions here that you can use for the um, video slider. So, but I like the phase zoom, so I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to save my settings. Another, another thing here in the options panel, another thing here in the options panel, if you wanted to um, reset everything, you don't like the way everything was, you can just press the reset button. And then from there, you would be able to start all over. Background options you can disable it or you can enable it this is what happens when you enable it you um, you would choose your background color you would put in your hex code here or as you see this thing popped up so say if I wanted to make it a gray I'll go over to this area like that that's pretty much easy um, you can keep background color but disable background image 
some people rather have an image over a color but once again it's up to you if you already have a background that you wanted to choose you can upload it you can choose which way you want it to go repeat is fine I like things to be in the center but for this theme we're not using the background so that's that if you don't want your background moving what you would do is click on fix background right here so yeah this options panel it helps you do all the easy stuff or all the good stuff versus doing it the hard way instead of going into the code and stuff like that um, this right here is for the excerpt or you can use the content um, the content is better to use because you know this is a video blogging theme so you want people to see what you're what you're posting um, you can change this from read more to see more um, We're going to go over to social options. So right here, this is connected to the widget area. So after we're going to show you this, we're going to show you the widget area. After showing you this, we're going to show you the widget area. And um, basically, this is where you would put your social pages. So, you know, you would put it in there. If you have a YouTube, you can enable the YouTube icon. You can enable all these icons, just make sure you have a page to go to and you don't want any dead links on your website. Um, another place we have in this options panel is archive options. Um, you can choose how many posts comes again. Um, you can display your your archives weekly, monthly, yearly. It's up to you. You can choose them all. Google options. If you have a Google's code or a Google Ad code, I guess you can place that here, and um, it will automatically be placed on every page. And um, so now. So now we're going to go over to the widgets area. And as you see here, we have the widgets in place, but I'm going to show you how to put them in. So whenever something's over here and say this is our blog sidebar, you would put that here. So if you want your um about me to be, you know, right here under the search, you can put that put in your text. If you have an image, like a featured image that you wanted to put on there, you can do that. Choose where you want the image to be aligned, right or left, and then put your text. And you will press save. So this widget area is um is pretty easy. You just have to make sure you put in the um the good stuff in the relevant place, especially if you want it to look like um the video theme on on CSS Igniter. If you want it to look much like that, you want to basically um, keep everything just about the same and edit it with your own content. And now we're going to look at our site. beautiful and yeah another thing about the way this is this is our footer section 
So when you see the widgets area and there's a tab called footer, um, you can put uh, your tweet, your tweet box there or if you have a email subscription, you can put that there also. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoy your theme and thank you very much for choosing CSS Igniter.